skeletons, it is Disney Queen Skelly here and welcome back to another reacting video. So today we are reacting to my pin collection. Let's get started. years. I love it. Just like within the first like second, she's like just sitting there. It's like hi. It's like oh no. <laughs> well, because usually you guys know like I I crop out like the first like well, I don't know if you guys know this, but I crop out the first like three seconds of a video that way when it immediately starts it's hi little skeleton. So I just thought that was kind of funny. So I'm actually going to be making a video about my pin collection. Most of these are Disney, and which is no surprise. So without further ado, let's get. What does she mean? Most of those are some of those not Disney. Underway. I have a couple of lanyards here. I have three, but for the life of me, I don't know where the third one went. It was funny. I was just about to mention that that she had a third one, but she never knew where it ended up. But I I figure as much when or if she cleans her room or she gets everything out of there whenever we decide to move she's probably going to end up finding it and it's going to be like a revelation and then i guarantee you she's going to make a video on it like i found them so we're going to start with this lantern and it's a nightmare for christmas lantern that has jack on this side and oogie boogie on this side i've seen that lanyard a couple of times and i've been debating getting it or not but I don't do lanyards. I've only ever had one lanyard in my life, and it was a jack lanyard, but I ended up... I had my pin... I had stuff on there for a while, and then my dad was like, no, it's getting too heavy, so he took it off. And it's currently hanging up in the kitchen, but, you know, I don't I don't use lanyards much anymore. That's why I had the vest. So I'm just going to start from the bottom and work my way around. So starting down here is this little weird bear. I don't know where this, like, what this little guy is from or where it, it's from because I traded him for, I traded one of my pins for him. Don't know why I did that. But if any of you guys know where this little bear is from, let me know because I have no idea. I don't either if it helps. I have a little Cheshire Cat t-shirt. This is, yes it is. This is actually a Hidden Mickey pin, so I'm going to bring it a little closer so you can find the Hidden Mickey. And Hidden Mickey pins are pins... Okay, <laughs> I'm guilty of this too. But if if she does... If, I mean, I, I know she... I think she says it later in the video. But if you're going to, like, do that, like, bring something closer to the camera so someone could find it, or if you're going to, like, you know, present something to somebody like that, I highly recommend saying pause it here to find it or leaving it up for a little bit. Like, I know I cut out all my silences, and especially I was guilty of that in the Soda Pop Challenge video where you guys barely saw me take, t like, actually take drinks of the sodas, but I, when I actually did. So usually when I try to show something to you guys, I'll talk in the background so I keep it in because I, I absolutely hate silences in my videos. So just, you know, for future reference, Harley, just be sure to say, like, pause here or, you know, um, like, be sure to, like, just something like that. Like, hey, pause your screen if you want to find it from Disney that have like a little Mickey on them. Kind of like, kind of like the one on my necklace. So. I'm pretty sure I gave her that necklace. Oh, those pins up have like a little hidden Mickey. And then a Sum Sum of the Sultan from Aladdin, which is one of my favorite Disney movies. Then I have a Beaker pin. This is Beaker from the Muppets. I'm not a huge fan of the Muppets. I did try. Sorry to backtrack a little. I had no idea that Aladdin was actually one of her favorite Disney movies until until I saw the top five favorite Disney movies, which I believe I did last week or a week before. And it, I like I literally was just like boggled. I was like, really? It's one of your favorite? Because she had never, I mean, she had never told me, but you know, when would it really ever come up in conversation? Because she and I do talk about Disney stuff, but we already know like our favorite Disney movie. So it's like we never really asked further on that. In terms of the Muppets, we're actually going to Disney World this year in October. And I told her that, you know, it's not just her vacation, it's ours. So we're going to end up going to the Muppets Theater to watch, you know, the Muppets 3D because that was one thing I absolutely loved watching when I was a kid. Grade one of my pins for him. But I and she's also not too happy about it, but oh well. 
I will also be trading him out for something I don't know yet. But that's a little beaker. It's like she kind of forgot what to say. Like, uh, where am I going with this? <laughs> and then on this side. Also, Harley Baby, if you do want to trade that, if I ever get repeats on my mystery packs whenever we go out and get them, I will trade you Beaker for one of the mystery pack pins. I have the Simpson pin of Lady. And then I have this pin that says Disneyland where dreams come true, which I totally stand by. I have a little... As do I, dearie. A little mini candy apple, which is also a hidden Mickey pin. See if you can find it. I have a mini picture, almost like a little Polaroid of her. I have a C-3PO egg. And that's all for this lanyard. You know, I bet you could fit a couple of more pins on that lanyard, because I saw some space, like, not the spaces between them, but there's, like, some spaces there that you could actually fit a couple more pins on there if you wanted to. But I know you have your cork, cork board, so. Now for this pin... I do apologize for the loud noises of her clanking her pins down. Uh, she has a mic that's right next to her and it's standing up and I think the mic is like super close to her desk so you're probably able to hear the clicking a lot more than like her voice but if it kind of hurts your ears I do apologize. I hopefully will have fixed that in editing. Now for this, now for this uh, lanyard. Did she just repeat herself twice? This is the villain's lanyard. So on this one, it has Goofy, some some Goofy. Joy from Inside Out, which I probably will trade her out for something. Why? Joy is so sweet. Well, she doesn't really like Pixar movies all that much if memory serves me correctly. I don't remember. Simpson Olaf. And you know, it's ironic. Whenever we went to California Adventure, she wanted to go on the emotional whirlwind, which was an, it was, which was an Inside Out ride. I have Aladdin here. One of these are upside down. Oop, there we go. Jasmine. I actually have a funny story to tell you about Olaf. So when we went to go meet Anna and Elsa over at uh, the Animation Academy area, you were also able to meet Olaf and Kristoff. And I always had like a slight crush on Kristoff. So when we went, I like ran straight to Kristoff and gave him a hug. And I was like, I honestly came here just for you. And Olaf just kind of like hung his head down. I was like, no, wait, that was so insensitive. I'm sorry, Olaf. And I went to go give him a hug. And he's like, it's okay. Like he was like patting my back. And, you know, it was like, it was just totally funny. And then, you know, Harley Baby was obviously there for Olaf because she loves Olaf. I just thought it was just a pretty funny experience. And Sven, a lot of these are some Sim pins. This was part of a mystery set, which I love the mystery sets. A lot of these Sum Sum, Sum, Sum pins are from little sets as well, mystery Those Sum Sum pins were probably fresh out when the game came out on, like, I think it was an app for iOS and Androids, but I think those came out roughly around the same time the game came out to promote it. Sets. This is from the BFF set, and this is... Speaking of which, I have the game. I haven't played it in a while. I seem to miss every year when they do Halloween, because I really want the Jack Tsum Tsum, but normally it's never in the box. And I get so pissed. And I know someone, I knew someone way back when who actually had the Jack Tsum Tsum in their Tsum Tsum game, and I was like so freaking jealous. This is Bambi and Thumper. This is from a Russian doll mystery set. This is Ariel. Now, those BFF pins. She has gotten that mystery pack so many times because I'm sure she's wanting to get the rest of the BFFs that she doesn't have. But even I don't know which BFF pin she doesn't have. And we, we filmed this back in like November when we did uh, one of our trips to, you know, downtown Disney. And I ended up getting both of the pins because she already had them. And I, you know, and I don't really get the BFF pack. So I ended up getting those from her because she already had them. Anyone who knows me knows that I love Little Mermaid. I was like, why would you put this on a lanyard to trade? I have a duplicate, so I can trade it. Gotcha. Oh, so your lanyards are for trading. That's why you haven't put many pins on there. Got it. Wait, if your lanyards are for trading, though, then why have some pins that you love on there? Like, are you planning on trading them out? Or are you planning on keeping them? Or, I don't know. I have a piglet silhouette. 
I have to see something like that. The piglet silhouette. Why would you trade that? I have never seen a single like silhouette pin ever when I started pin trading. Tweedle D and Tweedle Dum. And I think this is the last. Yeah, this is the last one on this lanyard. And that is Sven and Olaf again from the BFF set. Okay, so those are all on my lanyard. Now I'm going to get into this guy. This is a drawer from my jewelry box, and I have pretty much all the pins that I am not going to trade in here. And there's a lot in here, so let's get going. That's probably the next 11 minutes of this video. <laughs> so, in this little bag is ones that are from D23 that a friend got for me from a couple years back. I've always wanted to go to D23, but I never really got the chance to, and then, you know, stuff happened last year, so I'm hoping that whenever the next D23 is, I can actually go to it. Okay, so this is a Mad Hatter pin. I think this came in a set with a bunch of different Alice and Wonderland ones, but here's the Mad Hatter. Here is a Little Mermaid pin. It's Ariel and Flounder. It's kind of like that part, the part of Party Award where she's kind of swimming up her grotto. Another Mad Hatter, which <laughs> I love his snootiness in this. This is too cute. I'm starting to sense a pattern there. <laughs> I have a Russian doll, Alice. She is super cute. This is an Ursula pin. This is kind of like kind of like a strip in a comic book, which is kind of what this looks like. And it says, "It's time Ursula took matters into her own tentacles." This is from that same set with the Mad Hatter, but it's with Alice. Definitely sensing a pattern there with those D23 pins, my love. This is the Cheshire Cat, and this is a hidden Mickey pin. How do you know it's a hidden Mickey pin? Does it say, like, on the box, or does it, like, tell you wherever you're buying it? Like, how do you know it's a hidden Mickey pin unless I know you look at it? But if it's, like... Answer my question. <laughs> you know, it's a hidden Mickey pin. I know you could probably look at it and you could see it because I know when you buy pins, they're on display and you can obviously the, see the pin that you're buying. So maybe there's like a hidden Mickey on there, but are those like a certain type of category or are those ones that you just find kind of like how you find hidden Mickeys throughout the park? The white rabbit as a teapot. This is also a hidden Mickey pin. I love how she kind of gave up on this. See if you can find it. Another Ursula pin. Most of these are like Little Mermaid pins because she knows I love Little Mermaid. Rufus from Kim Possible. If anyone who watched that, I think this is very nostalgic. Also a hidden Mickey. Little Ariel pin. Ariel. And the last one in my hand is the teacups. So those are all the ones from D23 that my friend got. It's kind of funny, she's going like, Ariel, 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 like, I get over with. <laughs> that for me from a couple years back. Now I'm gonna dive in right here. Now again, most of these are Disney's. There are a couple of Knott's pins in there because I work there, so. Used to work there. I'm gonna start with this one. This is, so, and also some of these are I bought from a friend. So this is one of the ones I bought. This is an Ariel and Eric pin. This A&E with a starfish and then the little love birds right there. That's actually a very detailed pin. Holy crap, can I get one of that? Like Jack and Sally? <laughs> I almost dropped it. That would not have been good. I doubt it would have broken, honey. This is an Alice in Wonderland pin. This is a little lunchbox pin, so when you open it up, it has the price of the Mad Hatter's hat, uh, some bread and butter and honey, a cake, and a teapot. Which, fun fact, if you don't know how to read the Mad Hatter's tag, I believe it is 10 and 6 pence, which actually for that time was very expensive. Or is it 10 pence 6? It's one of the two, but either way, it was very expensive. This is a Pirates of the Caribbean pin with Angelica. This is a Knott's pin. This is a Scary Farm pin from 2017, 2018, one of those years. 
I think it might have been 2018 because I worked 2017 and our pin that year was a clown from Carnival, if memory serves me right. This is, oh, this is from 2017. Okay, so that one must have been from 2018. This is, a tw this is the 2017 scary. There you go. She got it. A farm pin. And it has a clown on it. Which, ironically, she's afraid of clowns. But her favorite section in Scary Farm is Carnival. But that's because that's where she worked when, you know, that's where she worked most of the time when she was actually working at Knots in the Games Department. So she was so used to seeing all the clowns anywhere. And I think at that point... She got desensitized, so it didn't scare her as much. So when I start kind of introducing her to horror movies, you know, I'm hoping I can kind of desensitize her before we get... The final movies I'm going to have her watch are It and It Chapter 2, but we're going to start with the Tim Curry ones because they're a little easier. This came in a set. This is... I don't think I have the other one. Um, so this is a Haunted Mansion pin with one of the... with a character on it. Super creepy looking. I want to get more of these. These are fun. These are cool. I have a couple of, actually I'll bring both these out. I have two Nightmare for Christmas playing card pins. They're both uh, aces. This one is the Ace of Hearts. This one is the Ace of Spades. Skelly, I know you watch uh, my videos, so correct me if I'm wrong. No shit, I watch your videos, dumbass. <laughs> on here, but I think on the Ace of Hearts is Barrel? With the- That is correct. The, uh, like, kitty jack-in-the-box? That is also correct. And then this base of space has the teddy bear. I actually have a teddy bear back there that I've been sleeping with for like months now. That hubby got for me for Valentine's Day in 2020. And I have not put it down. <laughs> this also came in a BFF mystery set. This is actually the first one I got. It's Ariel and Flounder. When I got this, I screamed. I was like, I'm never trading this away. Seriously, you, you get the BFF's pin, and you somehow manage to get Ariel and Flounder from your favorite movie on the first try. How the hell do you do that? This is from 2015. This is from Not Scary Farm as well. This is one of my favorite Ariel pins. My mom got this for me. They have little tassels and like a little... Flag banner. Super I will say it's because of her I got into pin collecting because I had never been a pin collector. If I ever got pins, it was usually a gift from somebody. And now I'm actually collecting my own pins, which I kind of regret not pin collecting when I first started like working because I feel like because a lot of the pins I'm seeing from her I had never seen in the parks before. I had never seen in downtown Disney before. So I feel like if I had actually done like pin collecting right from the start when I got a job, I feel like I'd have a lot more pins than I do now. Again, I have to thank her because she's the one who actually got me into pin collecting and I love it. I mean, my vest is nearly like I ha I'm almost at the back of my vest. In fact, I think I am at the back of my vest, which is incredible. I, I just want to thank you, Han, for getting me into that because I feel like now moving forward, once the pins that we have retire, we'll have some rarities, and that's going to be pretty cool. This is a little hidden Mickey pin with Ariel on, like, a little sketch pad with a pencil so you can find Mickey. She did it! The Caterpillar from Alice in Wonderland. Ah, this is what, this is when, this is a recent addition to my collection. This was a birthday present. Uh, my birth by the time you see this, my birthday's like way past. Oh yeah, in fact, when you see this, we're probably most likely going to be planning for a birthday in the next few months. Um, but this was a birthday present from Skelly. It is a Disney pin, princess pin, in the shape of a perfume bottle. It was like a mystery set. And I got me. The, the idea of the gift, and I, I did this for her Christmas gift in 2020, and I'm going to do it for her birthday again. I'm pretty much going to make this a tradition. I get her a lounge fly backpack, which I know are expensive, and that's why it only happens twice a year. I get her a lounge fly backpack, and then I fill it. I fill it with t-shirts, pins, jewelry. For Christmas, I got her a, um, a burgundy mini lounge fly backpack, and it has a bow on it. And I got her a couple of t-shirts. I got her a an Ariel, like, dish with her tail sticking out to kind of hold, like, necklaces and jewelry and shit. 
And then I think I got her a couple of jewelry sets. I don't remember. I think I got her some Alice stuff. But yeah, I'm doing this basically for her birthday and for her Christmas gift every year. Which, Charlie Baby, if you're watching this, spoiler for the rest of your life, that's what all your gifts are going to be, your lounge fly backpacks. You just won't know which ones. And you won't know what I stuff in there. Nine. Which looks really, really cool. This is from the most recent Scary Farm. Weird comment. Her chair looks so much comfier than mine. This came also came in a mystery set. This is Rapunzel. Most of these like little box sets will come in like a set of two. So you get like two pins. So I got Rapunzel and I got Tiana. And I gave uh, Skelly Tiana to give to her hubby. And then I think she did that pin collection again. And she got Tiana, so she kept it for herself. A little thing I've noticed, though, and Harley Baby, correct me if I'm wrong. When you first started, you filmed on your bed, much like I did. And then when I actually moved to my desk, you ended up moving to a desk. So have you been kind of getting those ideas from me? If so, I don't mind. I'm just kind of curious on that. I have a Tsum Tsum White Rabbit. This is another recent addition in my collection. This is also a birthday present. It's like the dresses of the princesses. And this is actually Tiana's dress when she goes to kiss Naveen. I'm kind of going to add on to that. It is when she kisses Naveen the first time. Um, what happens in the scene, if you haven't seen Princess and the Frog, is she goes to Lottie's uh, party because that they're throwing for Prince Naveen. And she ends up getting, like food spilled all over the dress that she came in with so Lottie gave her a brand new dress to to wear and that was the dress though when she opened it she goes is this Cinderella I was like try again honey that's Tiana and she goes it's Tiana and she flipped the box over and she's like oh yep you're right first time oh she actually said it's when she kissed Naveen the first time my bad didn't mean to interrupt you honey this was also a mystery set. It, uh, I gave one to Skelly. I can't remember which one came with this, but this is a 2020 pin and it is moved. You gave me the Brer Rabbit one. Shoo. We got this look like just after the new year. I'm gonna grab a few at a time. Actually, this one I'm gonna save to last. Oh, which one is last? <laughs> I have another Rapunzel pin. I'm just going to add on to the dress and the perfume one. If she had gotten Aurora in some way, shape, or form, I would have been sitting back, like, biting my lip, like, it's hers, it's hers, it's hers, just buy your own. <laughs> but then again, what are the chances that I get Aurora again? I mean, come on. Here's my duplicate of the Little Mermaid Russian doll pin, so I know I have one, so I can trade that other one away if I wanted to. Well, you could. You just kind of have to wait till the parks open up again. I have, this is another uh, Pirates of the Caribbean pin. This is Captain Barbosa with the little logo on the bottom. He is my favorite pirate. May I also add, I don't think you have to say it with a, with a, Mex with a Spanish accent, Barbosa. I don't think that's how you say it in the movies, but if it is, my bad. I haven't seen the movies before. I just always heard his name pronounced Barbosa, and that's even how how he pronounces his name, Barbosa, because... And, and I mean, he's, he gives that Latin flair with any word that is, you know, of the, of Spanish language. But then again, that's just, that's just us. She pronounces it however she wants to. It's just kind of, always kind of made me question it. Like, is that really how you pronounce Barbosa? Or are you just adding a little flair? Just kind of be a little extra. But she's extra anyways, and that's why I love her so much. Because I can be extra too. For those of you that don't know. This is from Not Summer Nights from 2019. This is the first time we ever did uh, Summer Nights at Not, and it was a lot of fun. Live music, activities, all sorts of fun stuff. I believe this is my last Pirates of the Caribbean pin that I have for now. It's the pirate skull with the bandana, and if I position this correctly, the grab this here, the sword moves up and down. That's really cool. Out of here. And it says Pirates of the Caribbean. And this is one of my absolute favorite pins. I'm pretty sure I almost cried when I got this. This is from Skelly as well. But this is when she this is one she brought back for me when she went to Florida. Hubby had to stop me from literally from literally spoiling this chick hard 
decor. I got her an Alice Pop in the teacup. I got her pins. I got her, I think I got her, I don't know if I got her ears, but literally I was getting her so much crap that hubby was like, you need to stop. I was like, <gasps> I can't. It's Alice, it's Alice with her little drink me potion bottle. I have, this is my rocket pin, rocket. And just a quick thought came to mind. And now that we're taking her this year, she can get whatever the hell she wants because this is what we're saving for. But I'm just super excited to actually have her go and experience Disney World. Like, this is going to be a pretty fun trip if I do say so myself. This is my favorite out of the Guardians of the Galaxy, so this is a really cool pin. You may be small, but he is mighty. I got a Tsum Tsum Flounder, and he's super cute. I'm trying to grab a few at a time, so I'm not, like, continually going back and forth, back and forth. This is a Tsum Tsum Ursula, but it's, like, one of the ginormous ones. This also was, like, a mystery pin. As you can tell, I love mystery pins. She's a little obsessed with mystery pins. This is Max from Little Mermaid, Prince Eric's dog. And this is another hidden Mickey pin, so try to find it. This is from Scary Farm 2016. This is from 2017 Boys and Berry Festival, also at Knott's. Those are like employee only pins. You can't really get those as a guest, at least I don't think so. That's why it's on my vest, because I know I have them. Hee hee hee. The holiday pin, this is from 2016. The Peanut Celebration, 2018. A little aerial pin. The Mad Hatter, which I actually traded, traded one of my pins. This is I traded with a cast member. Um, this is another hidden Mickey pin, so try to find him. Boysenberry Festival, 2019. From Knott's. 2018 Boysenberry pin from Knott's. Ursula. And I have just a few more. We're almost done. She's all, it's okay. You're, we're almost done here. You know, relax. Your attention spans have probably given up by now, but it's okay. Just two more, less than two more minutes. Zoom Zoom Cheshire Cat. This one's actually really cool. This is a shoe in the style of Maleficent. I'm covering my horns. There you go. There. If you're not careful, my hubby may try to steal that from you. The horns. I have a Dumbo pin. I might give this one to Skelly. Who knows? It's November at time of recording, and you haven't given it to me yet, so I'm still waiting. A Sim Sim Sebastian. And not holiday season 2017. I have one more. This one is really special to me, which is why I saved it to last. Um, one of my last trips to Disney was with Skelly, her hubby, and my hubby. And myself. We went to Disney for her hubby's birthday, and he, my hubby decided to get pins for everybody. So this is the one he got. Well, I was going to say before she reveals it. So that day... Well, that was, was one of the last times, but the last official time we went to Disney together, at least in 2020, was in February for my birthday. And back in November of 2019, yes, yeah, she's right, her hubby ended up buying pins for all of us, and I don't remember what he bought my hubby. I'm pretty sure it was either, I think it was Star Wars related in some way, shape, or form. He got me a Nightmare Before Christmas pin, which I have shown you guys on this channel, I believe. Uh, it has Oogie as the moon, and it's kind of like a 3D effect. It's got, like, it's got, like, bumps and texture to it. This is the one that he gave her, which pretty much melted her heart. Got me. Minnie and Mickey under a wedding altar. I kind of gave him, like, the biggest hug ever. I nearly cried because this is really special, and it just kind of, kind of shows the future. She nearly cried, she hugged him, and I think she punched him along with it. Press. I'm not gonna cry, I swear. 
So those are all my pins so far. I'm pretty sure I'm going to get way more once the parks uh, open back up. But thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys... Regardless, we've gone to downtown Disney so many times and you've still gotten pins. If you guys enjoyed this. If you guys have any pins, leave me a comment what your favorite pin in your collection is. Thank you so much for watching, please. I love you. So overall, the video was actually really cute. I loved seeing all the pins that she had in her collection. Though I would love to have known what some of the pins that she traded out were because, you know, I had never seen those before. But anyways, I will give this video a... We'll go 10 out of 10. It was a really good video, really cute, really, like, informative. And, you know, she obviously... I still love that she had to ask me if it was Lock, Shock, or Barrel. I'm just like, you're right, it's, it's Barrel. And it's up until recently that I didn't, I kind of forgot uh, who Lock and Shock were, and Hubby had to remind me. So anyways, I thank y'all so much for watching. The original video will be linked down below if you don't want to hear me talking. And be sure to subscribe to Harley Baby. She has been rising in subscribers so much lately, and I am so proud of her. She, I think, at time of recording, she hasn't surpassed me. Oh, we're in December. I think I said November at one point. We're in December at time of recording, and right now she is at 37 subscribers. I am, again, at time of recording, I am at 44 subscribers, but I guarantee you, if at this point that you're watching it, she has probably most likely surpassed me in subscribers, and I am so proud of her for how her channel has taken off, especially because in the later videos that I'll be reacting to that you'll be seeing like way, way down the line, she has definitely grown in her filming and in how she presents herself to her her audience and how she interacts, I guess, and reacts and just basically how she brings out her personality in in her videos. And I'm so proud of her for that because she used to be so stiff. Like, like in kind of in this video, she is stiff. But in the later videos, she does loosen up. She does express herself more. And I am so proud of her for that. So 10 out of 10, please watch this video. Again, it'll be linked down in the description. And you know, Harley Baby is always in forever. Uh, her link to her channel is always in my description box forever and, you know, always. So thank y'all so much for watching and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye little skeletons. Stay safe. And I love you guys.